Um, I'm Emily Nager, and I am here in Bali. It's 5.42 p.m. here. It's getting dark. And I'm really excited to be here and speaking um, and discussing this topic with you all today on um, spiritual alignments for creative and conscious businesses. So I was planning on having half an hour. I'm not sure how much time we'll have. And I um, hope to make it um, interactive with questions as well so if there's uh if you have any questions at any point uh, feel free to to jump in so um i want to imagine like i'm like you guys are here in my home um, this beautiful space here in, in in bali and like you are in my living room and i'm just like imagining um, having a little gathering and speaking with you all in person and i like things to be personal and cozy and um, warm so um, basically i help individuals with creative talents and spiritual gifts to realign their business so that it's a true expression of their spirituality and then they can attract and serve the people that they are meant to serve so over the last 10 years i have plenty of work experiences. So like I have my own coaching business where I did uh, coaching for women. I also help other coaches market their businesses through copywriting. And I was involved in the um, operation of like 150 seater mm -hmm. restaurant and doing sales and marketing for eco resorts and launch and incubate and sales and marketing for um, an eco city and have closed more than millions of dollars in the last three years. And um, over the years, somehow I have found myself at the intersection between um, spirituality and business. Because other than all of the business stuff that I'm doing, I'm also like a channel and energy healer. And I love singing and dancing and speaking to nature and animals and plants. And um, I, I have found that um, I've, I've talked over the years, I've talked to like thousands of people who are in this beautiful, you know, um, personal development, spirituality, um, consciousness with a lot of creative gifts and talents and who are kind of like struggling with their business. And um, even in my past career, I was also struggling and I kind of like distill it to like the one thing that makes the greatest difference on whether um, you are feeling the most fulfilled and with, and your business is attracting the people that you are meant to serve. And that one thing is alignment. And um, that's why the topic is called spiritual alignment for your conscious businesses. And um, for now, I just want to like pose a question for you to reflect. Um, when when do you feel like you come most alive? When do you feel most alive? What activities are you doing? Um, and what can you geek out about? Or what can you just talk about and discuss about endlessly and passionately when you get together with other people? And um, maybe you have a, a think about that. And uh, if I can have like a couple or a few of you to share um, your answer, if, if you would like to speak, I, I would love to hear. So like, if, if I were having a conversation with you guys here in my living room, I would love to ask like, what, what is it that makes you come most alive? Can you? Um, to share. Is there anyone who wants to share? Um, so, Sandra, I'm curious. Hi, Sandra. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. Um, for me, it's consciousness and the human mind. It's so mm. amazing to explore if you make a difference between our subconscious and our conscious. And just being in community and hearing experiences from other people and really going in depth. I love doing that. Beautiful. Thank you. 
Thank you. You sound like the tribe that I'm having here in Bali. <laughs> <laughs> very very I'm thinking about moving to bali at the end of this year so i would love to connect to you afterwards yeah awesome awesome i would love to thank you sandra and uh, we have an answer here from joanne joanne said um you feel most alive in nature outside in the sun hiking cycling practicing yoga that's awesome that's beautiful thank you i love all of the stuff that um sandra and joanne mentioned you know, being in nature and communing with others. And I also realized that I love geeking out about marketing. Like when I see a good marketing campaign, when I see good copywriting, when I see like a great story being told, I'm like, oh my God, I could just like dig my head in and geek out about it. So, <laughs> so, um, so I, I want to go through quickly the um, topics for, for my share. So first of all, I want to share why should you care if your business is out of alignment? How do you know if it is in or out of alignment? And the signs for you to know if it is in alignment. And then I'm going to share with you the fastest and most effortless way to attract people who are meant to work with you. Um, and then the root cause of all distractions and addiction, plus the best way to lose weight, and why creating an aligned business is a spiritual act. And finally, um, the deciding factor that someone chooses to work with you over other providers of the same service. So um, I'll go through the first point now. So why should you care if your business is out of alignment? So, you know, like, back when I was um, doing my coaching, um, it's called like, I, I was doing coaching for women on, on health and relationship and femininity. And um, I was like three years into it. And there was a point when I started to feel really tired and drained and exhausted. And there was another job that I was doing in like a couple years back. And I noticed this in myself, and I also check in with some friends that I, I have who somehow went through the same experience. And the thing that we have in common is that we all felt very tired and exhausted and drained by our work. So it's like you're pushing a boulder up the hill and you can't like take your hands off because if you take your hands off, the boulder will just like roll over and crush you. So you can't afford to to not push the boulder up the hill, but it feels like your business is, is taking more from you than it's bringing to you in return. And you even feel resentful. And then of course the clients will just be trickling in. It, it feels like a drag and not many people respond to your offerings or you put something out there and nobody comment on it and they don't sign up for it. Or um, with some of my friends that I observe or clients that I've worked with, they, they have clients coming in, they're close to signing up, but then those clients will back out at the last minute for a multitude of different reasons. Like I don't have the money or let me think about it. This is not the right time. And you just can't quite put your finger on why, like how come no clients. So there's no feeling of joy. And that's a sign that all of these things are signs that your business is out of alignment. And basically what has happened here is this. When I talk to these beautiful souls, these beautiful clients and friends about the things that they are most alive, about the things that make them feel most alive, like they just lit up, you know, like someone who's like so 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 excited about essential oils she can talk about essential oils for days or someone who is like so um in love with you know coaching people on health and nutrition you sit next to them and they can talk about it and you can see like this is their gift this is the spiritual gift that they have been given and then you go on to their websites or their social media or when you start talking about the kind of services that they offer suddenly it's it's a different expression like that aliveness suddenly is no longer there so basically there is there is this most soulful expression of your gifts and then there is the business oh, representation of it <laughs> that's 
so funny. And then there's a business representation of it. And there's a gap. They are not aligned with each other. This is like who you are. And then this is like your business representation and they're not aligned. And that is why, that is why the business doesn't take off. So basically the, the solution is really simple. I almost like call it, this is like spiritual chiropractic for your business. You just need to align your business and have it be an expression of your spirituality. And that is when you have like the highest alignment and the greatest energetic flow for your business. So when your business is in alignment, you feel like it feels so joyful. It feels fun. It feels like delicious. And basically because you are aligned and you're like this channel and, and life force energy is constantly flowing through you. These gifts are flowing through you to share and to serve with others. You just feel alive and energized by it. It doesn't even feel like work. So you are being rewarded and you are given to, you are nourished by just by serving and doing the work. And when this life force energy flows through you, it's not just, you know, energy, but it's also clients, it's material abundance, it's money, it's more creativity, it's more goodness in life. Suddenly you get connected to like the type of people that you need to be connected with all of the opportunities and new network. So this is like when your business is really in alignment. And um, so I come to my next point, which is like the fastest and most effortless way to attract people who are meant to work with you. And um, that fastest and most effortless way is through resonance frequency. So if you think about it, like when you go out there and interact with people, we are always subtly tuning in to each other's energy. We kind of like, you meet someone for the first time, you kind of like feel them out, you sit across them from the table or even like across the room. You, we are always doing that on a subconscious level. That's why there are some people that we feel safer to come and talk to and like, you know, they are strangers. They, you just feel so safe to just come and confide everything in your life with. And then there are people that you feel, mm, I'm not so sure about that person. So it's, it's all about the energy. It's about the resonance frequency. And this is like the easiest, it's the most ingenious, it's the most intelligent way that has been designed and intended by spirit to make it so easy for you. So the people who are in alignment with your resonance, with your energy, will be attracted to you. Now, if you, through your businesses, um, the marketing, the social media, the online presence, the materials that you are sending out, if they are not a true reflection of who you are, so there is a dissonance there. So that's when people get confused. They're like, mm, I'm not quite sure what, what is the vibe that this person is sending out. So I'll give you an example. So I know a person, one of my um, clients, she is like, she's just this lovely, beautiful. She has this sweet, gentle energy. She's like a little breeze. When, when you sit with her, she just like kind of like, like a gentle breeze that swirl around you and uplifts you and very gentle. She doesn't like hold you very close but she's like loosely there to inspire you and this is a very beautiful energy so if i sit with her I'm like, oh my god i love this person and then i go onto her website and it's it's really dry and bland and there's no personality and i was like wondering then she was wondering why and i was like because the resonance is not there people resonate with you and who you are so you want to bring that essence of you throughout all of what you present to the world right and again same thing you can write a post you can write a message um the same message but the energy behind it is what will determine whether people are going to be drawn to you and respond to you so i um have a friend who is a coach and you know, for coaches, you need, in order to have new clients, you need to invite people to have 
conversations with you. And so he, he put it, he, he put out a post to invite people to have conversations with him. And um, that has really amazing energy. It was alive, it was fun, it was kind of like feisty and saucy, and he got a lot of response to it. Two weeks later, he posted the same message, basically the same thing, but it was completely flat. And there, it was like basically he copied that same message and he pasted it and posted it again, but the energy behind it was not there. And I said to him, your post doesn't have any zing. It felt flat and he agreed. And you know what? He didn't have any response to that post. So it's not even just the words that you use, the picture that you use, it's also the intention and the energy that you put into behind what you share. Okay, I'm gonna make it really quick here so you're running out of time. Um, given I started 15 minutes late. Um, so, okay, I will try to finish. And um, if you guys have any questions, we, we can speak about. So, okay, um, root cause of all distraction and addiction. Um, I feel, I say, I see this in myself before, and I've seen it again and again in others. You know, there, there were times when I would feel like there's like an emptiness. There, there was a void and a deep pit inside of me, inside of my stomach. And I was so compelled to fill it with some things and, you know, food or getting like grabbing my phone and start scrolling Facebook or, you know, browsing stuff on the internet. And then for others, it could be, you know, alcohol or TV or meaningless interaction. And some people get into relationships that they actually don't want just because there's this, this deep void, this deep pit of darkness inside of them that, that are just longing to be filled. And what I have found out after, after doing this work is when you become a channel for spirit to express itself, to share your gifts and spirit's div divine messages with others, basically your vessel is filled with spirit. You just feel so bad and so nourished that you have you no longer need to emotionally eat or fill yourself up with something else. And it's actually the best way to lose weight. So a question for you to ponder on is how can you share your gifts with others today, even in ways that do not involve monetary exchange yet? And that first step will fulfill you, will nourish you, will nurture you, and will put you on the path to continue um, to greater levels of alignment. Um, I would like to check in if anyone has any question and I will try to answer. <laughs> Otherwise I will finish the last two points. Um, so creating an aligned business is basically one of the most spiritual acts that you will have ever done. I never saw it this way, but um, someone said this to me. So I, I got really impacted by it. Basically, they say there are people out there who are constantly asking divinity for solutions. There's someone maybe with a back pain and really needing an, a chiropractor to help, or someone with a digestive problem that need a nutritionist to help, or someone with a really challenging relationship that's needing help. So if you are the person with the solution, then you have that, that solution that divinity is intending to help that person. But if you can't bring your services and your gifts and your message to the person, then, then they don't get that solution from divinity. So when you create a business that is aligned and people can find you and can come to you and you can serve them, it's the most spiritual thing that you will have ever done. So you are all having divine answers that you are carrying at the moment that someone else is in need of. 
So it is a very spiritual act. And when your work becomes transformative to others, it becomes spiritual for you. And it, it is transformative to you as well. And um, now I touched very quickly on the last, um, the last um, point and welcome to whoever that just joined. Thank you for joining us. Um, you know, the first session went over time for like 12 minutes. So I started late and I will try to wrap up quickly so that we don't go over time too much for the third session. So the last one I will talk about is the deciding factor that someone chooses to work with you over the providers of the same service. So, you know, there's, uh, um, I watched this video of this three, three star Michelin um, Italian chef talking about his cooking class. And like, I'm not really big in cooking, and you know, I'm not that crazy about Italian food. I'm sorry, like I love it, but I'm not that crazy about it. But then I watched his video and I was like, oh my God, I want to learn Italian cooking just because he was like, you know, it's not about cooking. You know, you talk to your ingredients, you find out, you let them speak to you. Like this is about memories. This is about feeding emotion. And like the way he was speaking, there was so much passion, so much excitement and enthusiasm. And like, I don't care what he's teaching. I, I want that. Like I want the joy that he's having. So I want to share with you, like people want to feel your excitement and enthusiasm to work with them and share whatever that you have to share with them. They want to feel that you are enjoying what you are doing and that you're having a good time. And if they join you, they are going to have a good time too. So again, back to my friend who was a coach and was like, putting out posts on Facebook, inviting people to have conversations with him. That felt really flat. I said to him, how can you get excited about inviting people to have conversations with you the same way you are excited about inviting your lover to get in bed with you? And he just laughed so much. And he's like, oh my God, yeah, that's really true. If you're not excited about like talking to someone, then of course they can feel it. So again, the deciding factor here is the resonance, is the emotional connection. When you speak, when you share in your marketing material, in the way that you express and present your businesses, the emotional connection, the resonance is going to be the deciding factor, whether someone chooses to work with you with the caveat that they already plan, they already are looking for that service and they are prepared to pay for it. Okay, so I have made uh, my talk very quick um, to cover all the points. And if you have any question, I can take maybe one or two very quick questions um, to respect the time of um, the next speaker. Okay, no question. Wim said no question, Suma said no question. Beautiful. Um, Thank you, everyone. I will put my email address here in the chat box so that if you have any questions or you want to connect with me, you can connect with me here. My email is emilynature at gmail.com. You can email me there or you can find me on Facebook, um, Emily Nature. Okay. So thank you. And uh, I'm glad I finished on time. <laughs> So welcome to the third speaker, if there is no question from anyone.